In March 2021, about 600 metric tons of maize destined to Kenya from Uganda was stopped from entering the country. Kenya, the only thing the maize poison us, they don't, they don't have machines that take the procedures to measure whether the maize is poisonous or not. We are in a dilemma. This ban sparked off a diplomatic row that forced Uganda to fire back in a similar manner until Kenya dropped the ban. Cabinet agreed to reciprocate. Therefore, the Minister of Agriculture is going to identify which products to ban from Kenya. Aflatoxins are poisonous substances caused by a fungi in maize and other cereals like a groundnut and sorghum. Due to poor post-harvesting handling, the maize containing aflatoxins is responsible for many cases of cancer of the river in humans. Now, scientists at the National Crops Resources Research Institute in Namulonge have developed a solution that will reduce the amount of aflatoxins in maize and other grains. Dr. Godfrey Asea, the executive director of the institute, explains the science behind this innovation. So through a lot of scientific work, we have been able to identify those good fungus. And the good news is the good fungus outcompete the bad one, which is called the toxigenic strains of aflatoxin. So we have used that methodology to develop two products now, using the good fungus. The scientists also explain how the fungi is applied in the soils in the process of plant growth. After planting the maize, three weeks to flower, you spread this in the field. When you spread this on the ground, okay. this is already heated, so it doesn't germinate. Oh, yeah. so but the fungus are, will okay. germinate, so, so the competition is in the soil. In the soil. Yeah. Now the application rate is that you need four kilograms of sorghum uh, per acre. We are putting up to 97% control of aflatoxin by application of those two products in the field. The innovation was shown to the Agriculture Minister Frank Atumwebaze when he visited the institute to assess the progress on several research projects being undertaken by the scientists. Because the, the current outcry is feed, animal feed. So if you can do it here, and you will not go to vend. I, I know that the scientists have one challenge. How do we manage the outlets? You don't have to do it. However, the scientists say farmers still have to observe good post-harvesting handling, even when the new technology contributes hugely to reducing aflatoxins. But still you have to observe good post-harvest manner, like drying. You don't have to dry on bare ground. Otherwise, even the fungus is there. And if the moisture content is high, you can get so that infection. you may avoid it in the field and pick it while drying at home. At home. Exactly. Yes. According to the scientists, you can also come into contact with acquired aflatoxins from eating eggs and meat that was exposed to animal feeds that contain aflatoxins. Mm. The aflatoxin will come along with it in the animal yes, feed. Yes. And once the animal takes this uh, contaminated feed, this aflatoxin is assimilated into animal tissues and products mm. like milk, eggs and muscles. Mm. And then you consume it one yourself. Health. That's the one health so health once you consume it, you know it is carcinogenic and it exposes you to cancer. And for this, Ugandan scientists have found a solution. Naro has developed what we call the aflatoxin binder. This aflatoxin binder, we add it as a feed additive in feed at a ratio of one. In person. the animal feed? In the animal feed. The aflatoxin in that feed, it absorbs it. And the cost of this is just 600 shillings. In order for this innovation to trickle down to the ordinary farmer, the National Agricultural Research Organization, Naro, has created a business arm called the Narrow Holdings to commercialize the innovations. Jingo Francis, NTV.